obviously last night's show being kind of a home show for you. Yeah. Do you have, um, like, did, was there anything special moments that you do remember that happened? Or, or do you have a song that you are like, yeah, this is kind of my song. I get to kind of do my thing. Um, there's a little solo feature that he gives everybody during the show. We do a medley of songs that uh-huh. we all like, and we arrange them and put them together. And then we he features each of the band members. Hey, this is such and sure, such from yeah, such yeah. and such. Play a little, you know, eight bar solo, whatever. And so the guitar player, he's from Tishmingo, uh, uh, Mississippi. Okay. And so when I, funny side story, when I first met him, I was like, hi, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Dustin. And I was, I was like, where are you from, man? Tishmingo. I was like, no. no way. And he was like, Mississippi. I was like, oh. It's two in this world, that, really? Yes, <laughs> yep, yep. And so uh, I, you know, met him and that was too funny. And I was like, well, I'm from Tishmingo, Oklahoma. So when Luke introduces us, it's a funny, it, his soul is right before mine. So he's like, Tishmingo, Mississippi, Tishmingo, Oklahoma. And so anyways, last night, that was a really cool, special moment having that. And then we played a song. It's called Even Though I'm Leaving. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm not a songwriter, so forgive me, but essentially it's uh, from the vantage point of a son and a dad. And it starts with the son being young, the dad being old. Hey, dad, I'm scared of monsters. And then the middle part is the son going off to, to war. And he's like, hey, dad, I'm, le- you know, I'm leaving now before I needed you. You know what? Anyways, I'm butchering it. But then the the end is the father passing. So it's this arc, you know. And anyway, so my dad passed away. And so I'm like, hometown show, tear jerking song. I, and on that one, a lot of times it's a very impactful emotional song for anyone that listens to it. And I'll look out and I'll have to be careful to not look or lock eyes with someone that's crying because I'll be like, oh, I know. <laughs> so that's a pati- that's a moment in the show that even beyond Oklahoma that I have to kind of watch for because that, that one will get you. Yeah. Um, um, but especially, you know, poignant because of, you know, being in Oklahoma and, and having my dad, you know, having passed away. It was just a that's that's a cool moment in the show anyway. So it was extra special. And, you know, I had, I don't know, uh, 20 different 30 people there. You know, it's like the counselor in high school, uh, uh, you know, my old gym coach, you know, or whatever. Yeah. I had all these people there that were really special to me. And I tried to make the rounds and see everybody. <clears throat> But just knowing that they were there and then like playing and kind of forgetting where they were seated and then seeing them going like, oh, yeah, they're yeah. my friend. <laughs> well, that, but that's the really cool part about the way the stage is set up, right? Because yes. it's a center stage. WrestleMania. Oh, so good. <laughs> when I saw that, I kind of checked last night. I was looking when we were driving in to town to my wife's work party. I was yeah. like, oh, let's see the stage set up. How much are tickets going for? And what are the tickets at? And I was like, oh, it's, it doesn't matter where you are because it's right in the center. Yep. Like, so good. It's and that's so great for you fun. because you just, you can walk around, you can see everybody. It's like, my favorite. Is it, what was the, was the, the uh, Swan Brothers like that, Lauren and Elena, or were they just more The Swan Brothers was, uh, when I first joined them, we were on the Carrie Underwood tour, and she did. Oh, of course. They yeah, call yeah. us a 360, yeah. and she was doing a 360 tour. Yeah. Um, we, uh, for me on that one, I was a little bit more stationary, so this one's sure. full on, like yeah, yeah. wireless all over the place. Um, and it just depends on the venue. With Lauren, we did a, a New Year's Eve thing, and it was 360. Yeah. We did Times Square New Year's Eve. It was incredible. Oh, how good it, it was so cool. There were so many people. You know, bucket list, interesting, yeah. cool moment. It, it was really, really neat. The village people went on, I think, directly after us. So I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> you know, we got to meet Steve Harvey and all That's this, awesome. you know, fun. Did he drop stuff. motivational bars on you as well? <laughs> Typical Steve Harvey. Yeah. It's so funny. I think about, like, these situations where I find myself and, you know, it's like, oh, wow, this funny, cool person. Wow, that funny, cool person. And, you know, it's it's my job, and so I keep it cool, but I can be somewhat excited. And if they say hi, you say hi. But... When I get around like a musical hero, I might as well be eight years old. I'm just like, hi, I love you. You're my, you're my favorite. Like if it's a bass player that I look yeah. up to, forget about it. Yeah. I just devolve and I just go like, can you sign my shirt? You know, I just turn into a total fan. Like yeah. I wouldn't even be able to help it probably. That's for my That's heroes. epic though that you still have those moments, right? Because it brings you back to that kid. Absolutely. Because right? you're not just desensitized to the whole like I live in Nashville. I'm around superstars all the time. <laughs> exactly. It's no big deal. You know, I play. I'm going to like, world tour, whatever. Yeah, it's like now that magic is still there, and it's it's definitely there from the people that inspired me. Yeah. So my heroes, the the bass players that I look up to. Who are sure. they? Uh, Victor Wooten is is okay. a huge inspiration. Um, you know, someone that I. 
I, <laughs> you know, I always make the joke and I'm not trying to be self-deprecating. I'm trying to kind of be like honest, like, yeah, I'm not fit to carry his bass case. He's like top of the mountain. You know, he's, he's an incredible musician, uh, uh, but someone that in, does inspire me to get better. Mm. You know, it's like my Tiger Woods and I'm, yeah. you know, wherever over here anyway. So uh, he's one of mine. And then guys that I've really uh, been inspired by and tried to, as much as I can model a career after has kind of been like Will Lee, um, uh, Nathan East, uh, Sean Hurley. There's like, you know, 20 of these guys that I just really look up to, uh, Lee Sklar, you know, some of these bass people that people are going, I don't know who that is, right. <laughs> but yeah. If you name the bands they played for, everyone's like, Oh, okay, oh hundred percent. Yeah. Bands, like yeah, Phil yeah. Collins. I mean, those between those three or four guys that I just listed, I mean, everybody they played for is yeah. someone that, Every uh, every listener would probably know. Mm-hmm.